Uh, because uh, Europe's biggest street party, Notting Hill Carnival, is in full swing this August bank holiday weekend and it's been building up to today's iconic parade. Yeah, the annual celebration is now in its 56th year and will attract more than 2 million visitors. Here's some of the vibrant colours, costumes and music from the past few years. <laughs> seeing the archive uh, footage of uh, back in the older days of it. Well, we're joined now by Cass Kidd and Clara Hermit, who are presenting live BBC coverage from the carnival. Good morning to you both. I saw you dancing along there. The <laughs> rhythm's really got you. We're only a day in. There's a whole other day to come. Yeah, how's it going? Oh, it's been amazing so far. I was down at some of the sound systems yesterday, dancing away. My feet are a little bit sore today. My legs might be a little bit stiff, but you know, give me half an hour and I'll be ready to go again. <laughs> I was going to say, you wouldn't be standing that close to that speaker right next to you if that was on right now, would you? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. <laughs> but we are right by the judging panel here, aren't we, Cass? Oh, yeah, you definitely are. Um, and everyone's still setting up. So as we speak, there's people, there's vendors setting up food. People are going to be lining up these very streets of Carnival uh, to parade down for their floats, their outfits, their costumes. And like um, Clara said, it's the sound systems that I'm looking forward to because these speakers are going to be booming. And, and Cascade, you, well, both of you actually, have been attending the carnival for decades. But what, what has it meant to you being able to be part of what is such a, a key event? I think, you know, it, it makes me proud to, to be British, but also have the heritage of coming from Jamaica and the Caribbean and knowing that I can experience both sides on home turf. So. For me, it's, it's the food, it's the music, it's the culture, and it's also legacy. Mm. And we were seeing uh, footage just now when we played a little snippet of uh, the carnival from years ago, and it is an institution in itself, isn't it? Oh, it's absolutely amazing. This is the 56th year, and I've been coming since I was a, a nine or ten-year-old child. I can't remember my, my first year, but it's something that I think people in London and from outside of London, in fact, all over the world, look forward to every single year. For me, it's kind of like Christmas. <laughs> it was the night before Carnival, and it's something that people get really, really excited about because there is nothing like this on Earth. And I've attended Rio Carnival, and of course, Notting Hill is second only to Rio Carnival. And I have to say, no offence, Rio, Sorry, Rio, but Notting Hill takes it every time. <laughs> so, Cass, tell me about the coverage, because you two are there presenting on, you, on the iPlayer, and, and you talked about the sights, the sounds, the smells, the kind of, you know, the vibrancy of being there in amongst it all. How do you recreate that for the telly? How can people at home get a bit of that through the TV? Well, we'll be contextualising the vibes through the BBC iPlayer, um, BBC Radio London and BBC Radio One Extra. And there'll be cameras. We've been told there's going to be a camera on the One Extra float. So a camera this, right here as yep, well. The, the camera right point, here. All the costumes. And one in a pub. Yeah. And a camera in oh. a pub. So we've got a 360 perspective given that carnival experience. For those that can't make it or for those who've never experienced carnival or seen carnival for the first time. And also, you've got us as your guides, and you know, we are kind of carnival pros in our own right. We're going to be able to talk people through the food, we're going to be able to talk people through the costumes, how it all works, what the judges are looking for, the music that you're hearing, and just what you're seeing. So, we really hope that people join into the live stream and get that 
feel and that vibe and that energy of carnival and that's what we want to bring to people yeah and clara have you got all your adjectives sorted to describe those outfits because some of them defy description don't they they're so fantastic and so over the top and so amazing oh, how do you even describe that if you're on the radio for example If you're on the radio, I mean, I would start by the fact that it said that there's going to be 30 million sequins that we see today. Um, we're talking about 15,000 feather plumes. We're talking bejeweled, bejazzled. It's just absolutely incredible. It's the colours. Every single one of the masquerade bands has their own theme for the year. And then they make costumes aligned with that particular theme. And they look absolutely incredible. The guys, the girls, there's headpieces, there's feather plumes. I'm doing my best to be sold already. <laughs> So sold already. <laughs> and it's one of those things where you don't forget the first time you've ever experienced the carnival. And as I said, you've both been attending for years. Cass, can you remember how you felt the first time you experienced Notting Hill Carnival? I mean, I was a lot shorter. <laughs> <laughs> I was a lot shorter. So I remember looking up and seeing everyone thinking, this is incredible just the amount of people in one space and just going from a train station that's further outside of london and then when you get to that west london area and seeing the, the flags the music and you can smell the food it's a completely different experience that i'll never forget and seeing my first ever sound system and walking through the crowd and finding a little spot and and working out how much things cost when you realise jerk chicken and rice is not the same price as in your local <laughs> area but it's all going to a good cause because it's all about enjoyment yeah, definitely. Well, it's been really great to speak to you both, Cascade and Clara. Thank you for joining us this Have morning. Have a great day. Enjoy it. We'll be watching later. Um...